amount of uh, 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 snook particularly that were caught uh, off the front dock and up on Redfish uh, Pass Point up there was uh, unbelievable to blow your mind. Everybody comes here, you've obviously you're just enthralled with the fishing and um, the fishing was different then in the sense that the guides were um, from a different era. They had no GPS, no charts, no cell phone, no things like that. I tell you what used to be really good fishing is when the groins were out here. It's funny too because there were certain groins that worked a heck of a lot better than others. And as the shadow became came closer and closer to us, we saw that it was tarpon, huge tarpon, four to six feet, flanking them on both sides were these huge sharks. But you'd clean up the mullet, and then the next day, people from Boca Grande or Pine Island, old, old family, friends and relatives would all get together and sit around a big old fire, cooking up mullet, eating. When he first went down there, uh, you know, when he first bought the property down there, when it got to be sort of close to dinner time, he would sort of look around the room, do a kind of a head count, and wade out into the water and fish until he caught enough fish for dinner. Queen Waters is owned and managed by a prince and his charming consort. We do not dress for dinner, and the fishing is marvelous. My son used this bamboo pole, I'm serious, and caught a 30-inch snook right here off the dock. 